Alright, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Side coming at you with another banger. Today I'm about to show you guys real quick how to just hook y'all controllers up to y'all PC to make sure y'all can play 5M and most games work with this app as well. As long as you have this app and you have Steam, you should be able to use it. Sometimes you don't even need Steam, you can just use this app. But I'm going to switch over my camera real quick and just show y'all. I'm using a PS5 controller as you guys can see. This PS5 controller. I'm going to hook this up so I can show y'all me plugging it up. And I'm going to show y'all that it connects to the game, alright? So first let me plug it up first so it can light up. You probably might hear it in the video. As you can see it lit up, you might have heard it too. I'm going to switch over my camera. And as you guys can see, I am connected. On here it shows you I have a wire hooked up, 70% battery life. It's green, showing me that it works. Right now I have my normal triggers on so you can't hear me press the triggers, they're soft. Uh, I can change them. Alright, so if you already updated your app, that's another thing. If this pops up when you already opened this before and used it, just hit later. You don't have to keep updating over and over because that thing pops up over and over. I've already updated it, so I'm not going to do it again. But basically, you can change the triggers. Here's the GameCube triggers. I'll show you both. Make sure you click both triggers instead of one. So click both triggers and hit apply. And now if you listen, my triggers are hard to press. They, they're like GameCube days. I don't know if people know about GameCube, but they're like GameCube days. And, um... Uh, let me see if I can show, I'll show you my screen real quick of me pressing them. So as you can see, they're harder to press. And then if I switch it back, so let me switch back real quick. And then if I switch it back to normal triggers and I hit apply, I'm going to show you my screen again. And there you can see, they're, they're, they're easier to press. So you can't hear them, so I don't have to press them that hard. They're easier to press. Like you might be able to hear them if I actually like spam them. But they're not as loud as the other ones because the other ones are GameCube triggers, as you can see. But I'm back on normal. Uh, you can also change the color of it as you guys can see. I don't know if y'all seen it when I changed my color. See, it's going rainbow. I know rain everybody like, oh, rainbow's good. Man, we're not doing all that, bro. I like the rainbow because it just looks flashy, bro. Like call, old Call of Duty days. We had rainbow names and stuff. Y'all never know about that. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm going to just show y'all basically like when you hook it up, there's other things you can do. You can uh, do settings for it. You can test out all your buttons, make sure they work, that kind of stuff. Um, you can do certain settings of gaming, like test demos, set a certain sensitivity, create stuff for it and all of that. You can do a lot with this. But make sure when you have the connection status, make sure you always have the emulator on 360, all right? Even though it's not a 360 controller, make sure the emulation is 360. That's the one that normally works on GTA, 100%. Call of Duty and them kind of games, they should automatically work because it's already configured in the game. But some servers on GTA don't have the configuration, so you have to use this app sometimes, not everybody. Um, if anybody needs any help, like I said, my Discord, I always put my Discord in the description. You guys, I updated the link. So make sure if y'all can, man, join the Discord. Get active, man. We need more people in here anyway. And uh, definitely join the family. Um, if y'all need any help, like I said, just join the Discord. Ask me. And I got y'all, bro, 100%. Any other questions, bro, make sure y'all join. All right? Other than that, man, be safe. And I appreciate y'all being in the video. I appreciate y'all watching. And uh, stay subscribed, man. Y'all part of this family. So we got to grow together. Let's do it.